Look, you've got countries like England, who have a lot of academic leadership in this area. The EU, France in particular, I think has a, a legacy in history and intellectual resources and capital resources that will be important here. Both of those taking leading roles around this effort of the quest to regulate appropriately this, this new technology. Then, as you said, there's a series of people with particular technology edges like Netherlands, South Korea, Taiwan, etc. And then there's you have these interesting other accessories but powerful nations like the United Arab Emirates who've been a leader creating their own very, very capable and impressive open source model in Falcon. They've done really important work in Arabic large language models. They're investing prolifically. So again, I think it's a global phenomenon. While I talked about it as a nexus or an axis for competition in the world, I also hope it has a kind of unifying impact on the world and on nation states as well.